the rise of the internet has given us an overabundance of side hustles. There are many ways to make extra money online from the comfort of your own home. So let's talk about it. Hey, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Boss Tip Thursday, where I share tips and tutorials to help you get work done done and today it's all about side hustles so if you want to start a business but you have a full-time job then starting with the side hustle is the best thing for you to do if you want to make extra money on the side you want to keep your job but you're just looking for some extra money then side hustle is the way to go and if you're looking to learn new skills to make you more valuable in the workplace then start with a side hustle today i'm going to be sharing a total of nine side hustles that require little to no investment up front they are fairly easy and most of them you can get started today some quick disclaimers before we get started i don't want to give false impressions here so the first thing is that you can get started with most of these side hustles today but that doesn't mean that you'll start getting paid today you have to put in the work and continue and be consistent for about a couple of months to start seeing the results and then the second thing that I want to make clear is that they are easy because anyone can learn to do any of these side hustles it doesn't take a rocket scientist but depending on your skills and current knowledge about the online space and all these things all these technical things you'll have to do the learning curve may be slight or substantial depending on what you already know so it's easy but you do have to put in your effort to learn new skills and then the last thing in the description there will be a pdf that you can download that will have additional resources and links and different things that will help you get started with each of these side hustles the first side hustle is affiliate marketing this is the referral business of the internet you know back then they had Avon and Mary Kay where you referred people a product and then you got a commission if you sold these products well this is the gist of this side hustle you recommend people products and you get a commission if they use your affiliate link there's Walmart Target Amazon so many of these platforms have affiliate programs but most of the products you use probably also have them so just think of any softwares, any digital devices, any journals, planners, anything that you use most likely has an affiliate program. Just do a Google search, the product plus the word affiliate after it and you should be able to find it. If not, most of these products are on Amazon. So if you join their affiliate program, you can get an affiliate link to promote it and just find things that you enjoy doing things that you enjoy using and get this uh get into this program you'll have to fill out a short application it's a quick process and within a day or two they'll prove you and you can start promoting this product and get paid for it the second side hustle is youtube youtube can be used as a content marketing strategy meaning that you create content on this platform to attract people and customers who will buy your products it can be any affiliate products as we talked about books courses or anything that you have to sell but as you know YouTube also pays you via AdSense every time an ad is shown on your video you get a small percentage of that and this used to be an easy side hustle but because it's easy it did get oversaturated people took advantage and now YouTube has put in some guidelines in place before you can join their AdSense program and start getting paid you have to have a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours watched so it there is a curve there you do have to get through that but if you're willing to put in the time and the effort and learn more about this platform it can be done or you can use it as a content marketing strategy to sell other your other stuff like the affiliate uh, products and other things that we're going to be talking about throughout this video side hustle number three is retail arbitrage the main goal with this side hustle is to buy low and sell high so first you buy the product at stores like Walmart Target 
Ross, TJ Maxx, or even like at pawn shops, garage sales, and thrift stores. And then you sell the product online for a higher price. You can use Amazon, eBay, Craigslist, and then there's also a lot of other apps that you can use where you can sell locally and you don't have to sell online. So that's another side hustle. Side hustle number four is Kindle Publishing. This is Amazon's self-publishing platform. It's free to join and anyone can publish an ebook. You can write these books yourself or you can hire a ghostwriter and publish your books under pen names. Now the good thing about KDP is that once you have an ebook, you can easily create a audiobook, a paperback, a hardcover version of that same ebook. So one income stream easily turns into four. Side hustle number five is to sell t-shirts online. Now there are many sites that you can do this with like Teespring and Shopify, Etsy, I think you can also sell t-shirts there. But the easiest way to get started is with Merch by Amazon. With Merch by Amazon, all you have to do is upload your t-shirt design and Amazon will create the shirt for you, sell it and produce it, take care of all the customer service stuff. So if you're into design, you can create it and upload it or you can hire someone to create the shirt designs for you. If you just have a concept, you can give that concept to someone on Fiverr or Upwork and they will create it for you. You upload it and Amazon takes care of the rest. Side hustle number six is to teach online. If you know more than the average person about a certain topic, you can create online classes and get paid for it. You can create online classes about almost anything like makeup, cooking, self-development, time management, YouTube, social media marketing, photography, and so many other things. Now there are a couple of ways to go about this. You can start with a platform called Teachable, which um, is a place where you'll have to drive your own traffic there. You'll have to create your own course and you're kind of in charge of everything. It's free to join Teachable, but they the price does go up uh, depending on the features that you want and need. But with this platform, it's easy because it's kind of like drag and drop. They walk you through the process of creating the online class step by step. Or you can try other platforms like Udemy and Skillshare. On these platforms, they do take a percentage of your earnings, but they have a lot of traffic coming to them already. So it's easier to get started with. It's always a good idea to drive traffic towards your courses and products and books and anything you sell. But having Udemy and Skillshare already established as a platform for online classes really does help. Side hustle number seven is graphic design. If you don't want to teach your services, you can sell them on sites like Fiverr and Upwork and graphic design is one of them. If you have a good eye for design, why not get paid for it? You can be a well-trained designer where you went to school or you can be a self-taught designer. It doesn't matter. People are always looking for all different levels. On these sites that I mentioned, Fiverr and Upwork, people offer their services and they all have different levels of expertise so they charge different prices, but people are always looking to save time. They don't want to spend the time to learn Canva, PicMonkey, Photoshop, or any of that. They just want it done. So you can sell specific graphic design services like YouTube thumbnails, YouTube cover art, logos, book covers, any of that. And people will pay you for it because they just don't want to spend the time to learn and get it done. Side hustle number eight is freelance writing. Again, with the time thing, people don't want to spend the time to write their copy for their websites, their blog posts, their social media posts. They know that content is important, but they don't have the time to do it. So this is a great service to sell, again, on sites like Fiverr and Upwork, but you can also do it on your own site and offer your services there so that you can get the full earnings. Or you can also try working for a company. Just Google this sites that pay you to write and you'll find some across all industries like finances and family and self-help, time management, and so many health, so many other things. So just find a topic you like and 
apply for these jobs and you can start getting paid to write. Final side hustle is digital products. This is awesome because it's somewhat passive. You only create the product once and then you can sell it again and again. And I guess some of the stuff that we already talked about kind of falls into this category, like the eBooks and the t-shirts and the online classes. You only create those once and then you can sell them again and again. But I still want to mention it one more time because there are many other digital products that you can sell to make some passive income. There are things like workbooks and planners, PDFs, even photography. There's lots of stock photo sites that are always looking for new pictures. So if you're a photographer, you can sell it online. Printables and quotes, themes, so many things that you can sell. Just be open, uh, have a creative mind about this and go for it. Anything that can be downloaded instantly and that can add value to someone else is a digital product that you can sell. All right, so that sums up the nine side hustles to make more money from the comfort of your own home. I hope you found it helpful and that you feel inspired and encouraged to go out and give it a shot. My best advice for you though is to pick one and stick with it. It's not gonna happen overnight, but if you put in the work, eventually you'll see the results. Don't do what I did and jump from side hustle to side hustle every other week. You get nowhere like that. Just pick one that most resonates with you and stick with that one. Once you get that one going, then you can jump to another one. But make sure that you focus and master one first. Don't forget to download the PDF in the description for more resources and links and helpful things that are going to get you on your way. And if you haven't already, check out my book, Online Business Success. In that book, I share more about these side hustles and more. I talk about marketing, how to find customers, and how to align all this with with your true passion. So if you haven't already, check it out. It's available on Amazon as an ebook, paperback, and audiobook. And let's continue the conversation in the comments below. Let me know which of the side hustles that I mentioned today sounds the most interesting to you. And if you want tutorials on any of the side hustles that I talked about today, leave it in the comments below. I'd be glad to share what I know. And that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.